Really quickly, I just want to point out this week's peer review. Um, I'm going to show you step by step where to go and um, what to do, but uh, here are the instructions here. And I'm wanting you to pick the person whose name appears two below yours. So you're going to skip the name right beneath yours on the roster and pick that next name. For example, Mariah will review Dorothy, Lindsay will review Laura, Dorothy will review Justin. Then at the bottom of the roster, Dalen, you will review Mariah, Mary will review Lindsay. So skip the person directly beneath you and then do the, then the next name. That's who are you are reviewing. If you have any questions about who you should review, email me. So this week's is a little bit different because I want it uh, more involved, okay? So uh, you're going to, oh, I have to make it where you guys can see each other's. So that would be great. Okay, so you guys are going to click the eyeball and then of course you'll go back and click uh, your person's name. And when you do that, then you are going to open the file and you are going to save it, okay, just like you would any other Word document. Save the document in, so that you can work in Word, okay? So you are going to be actually working in the document this time and saving it as you go. And here's what you're going to do with it. Um, here are the peer review directions. You guys are going to actually be highlighting some information. So I want you to use these colors. They will appear in Word, you know, with the highlight. Uh, it, it shows you pretty clearly where the highlight uh, option is. And you're going to go find these different things within the essay and highlight. And so here's the thing. If you have trouble distinguishing what is objective summary from analysis, say, you know, that's going to be apparent. Um, and so I, I don't know that the entire essay will end up highlighted but you get the idea that you are looking for specific information. Um, and I also want you to highlight the works cited entry in dark blue. Just that's a reminder that we need a works cited entry. Okay, so then at the very bottom of the document, under the works cited entry, I want you to include two areas of strength in the paper and then two areas of weakness or that need improvement in the paper. So now you're making some comments on the actual whole paper itself. So you're going to be doing some highlighting and doing some comments. And when you are finished, you'll save your work and you will upload it back here to Rhetorical Analysis to Peer Review. I hope that this is a, a learning experience and a good process for everyone. Thanks a lot.